Hey everybody, this is Wednesday night here in Cypress, Texas. I uh, was hoping to get a, a new uh, recruit today, um, actually last night, and um, but he lost track of time, right? And uh, and uh, so we'll be, I'll be following up with him. We got the uh, the uh, Titan call here <clears throat> in about thirty minutes. But something, so I just started, you know, going through and making calls, and I got um, a very excited prospect that I'll be getting with tomorrow, which was cool. I had some people, you know, oh, I was, you know, I was interested, but I started, you know, I got just too busy, and, and, uh, and um, you know, they, whatever. And I just told them, you know, I'm looking for people that are, hardworking, ambitious, good with people. Um, when I met you, I mean, you were very professional. And I'm like, oh, wow, you know, that's, you know, I'm looking for people like you. So if you know anybody, you know, that fits that description, their family, friends, neighbors, your kids, friends, parents, people you work with, I'm looking for them. And then uh, it didn't take too long after that. I'm calling somebody else. And uh, they were, oh, yeah, they remembered who I was. And. They were, yeah, they're really, they hadn't got into, they hadn't um, tuned into the workshops yet, but um, they're not far. I'll just go, go see them tomorrow. Another one, they did, uh, you know, they, they're just interested in their business, you know, I'm like, okay, no problem, you know, and, uh, but I got some people that may be interested in, in their business. So I told them I'd send them, send them over and it's just, it's just getting to know people. Right. I mean, you can go out and I can go out and I can, I can attract anybody. I can talk to anybody. All right. And I can, you know, deliver the message. Right. Then there's, you know, you, you've got to, when that relationship comes in and it's got to be valuable enough for them to break their subconscious programming. And you can tell when that subconscious programming kicks in because they start, like, making excuses. They start, you know, little things that shouldn't make any difference now are become a big deal, right? That, that's, their, that's their reason to stay where they're at, okay? And it's until they learn that where they're at is the is the danger zone until that happens then that's when they start that's when they'll start looking okay i need to i need to help out of this and what really triggered me to make this video today is i was i was on facebook and i saw somebody posted a picture of a budge class like 120 guys all on the grinder doing push-ups and it said only 11 of them made it, right? Oh, wow. You know, that puts it all in perspective, right? You know, if, if something's... If this was easy, everybody would do it. Okay? You, you got to be... And this is what's awesome. This is what's so awesome. When you have a vision in your mind... Of what you want or how you want your life or how you want to be different than you are now your brain triggers your chromosomes your genes to produce more chromosomes to actually make you who you want to be in that vision when you look back to your past or even how things are like right now, you're not making new. You're not making yourself better. You've got to look forward to becoming who you need to be to have what you want and have the life that you want and get the respect that you want. But you can do it. You're made to be who you want to be. But you've got to have that vision. You've got to make it happen. Okay. So when you start like thinking about your business and 
and how you're going to grow your business and how you're going to develop people, right? You are making those genes in to make you that person to, that can do that. Is a better communicator, that's more relatable to people, that is going to attract people, right? You can make yourself who you need to be. You don't have to settle for dealing with your deficiencies now because you will change. You will become who you need to be. Just like when I was fighting and I won the novice Golden Gloves in Memphis, Tennessee in 1982 and I watched the open fighters and I go, wow, they were so sharp and they were so snappy and polished and crisp with their motion, their movements and their punches. And, and uh, well, five years later, I was beyond that level. Okay. And so you can't always see other than in your vision of what you what you can be and you, you're going to be if you keep doing it, if you keep at it. All right. Have a great Wednesday night.